Good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. So what a difference a day makes with uh, massive uh, bullish candles on almost all global equity markets. Very strong bounce from uh, the lows of Monday uh, with a, a bullish engulfing pattern on the US 30. This is a significant 250 plus move, uh, though we've kind of stopped dead in our tracks so far this morning. 17,561 would have been the potential support uh, and we're taking kind of levels from back here last February, bounces of March, uh, and then it gets a little bit more convoluted to get into, uh, uh, into August there, but that could still be a level worth having a look at. Um, longer term uh, potential support, 17,361. We're in the middle of two ranges right now. The other technicals have already sold off, um, but yeah, a very impressive move on the US market. Then having a look at the UK 100, you can see it looks even more impressive here because it's just completely uh, covered the, uh, the the previous candle. Again, not that much follow through first thing this morning. Intraday charts, uh, everything's kind of flatlining ever so slightly. Uh, 55 period SMA could be providing potential resistance with 60, 300 remaining the potential resistance. So then looking at Japan 225, it seems to be struggling to get above 19735. Longer term potential resistance 20087. We're above both moving averages. Technicals are slightly overbought. MACD histogram is declining. Uh, we really need to get a break above the tips of these candles right here. Otherwise, we could have a little bit of a reversal. But with the shadow of quantitative easing um, on, on the background, Maybe Japan 225 will be just fine. And looking at dollar yen, that maybe gives a further uh, indication. Uh, we're seeing the dollar really push higher now at the expense of Japanese yen. Uh, getting close to the, uh, the tips of these candles, 123.58 was a previous high. Longer term potential resistance, 124 spot 42. Um, bullish engulfing pattern yesterday, a little bit of falling through, fall through today. Dollar, dollar yen looks pretty interesting. So moving swiftly on to West Texas crude, we had a decent bounce again. Potential tweezer bottom right here, um, but we hit $42 and then straight back down again. So on interday charts, yeah, it's kind of struggling to, uh, well, it's, it's looked at $42 and then just started to slide back. So that is your potential uh, strategic pivot line to look at today. Uh, gold, very strong reversal from first thing in the morning. It rallied really strongly and it's just been completely pushed back down as um, the markets have kind of largely and broadly um, reversed all the losses made after the Paris terror attacks, and it just seems to be business as usual as far as markets are concerned. We do have the death cross on the moving averages, and the other technicals remain very over oversold, uh, but $1,072 is potential support. Finishing up with Euro dollar and GBP USD, so Euro dollar back on the slide. So the USD is uh, gaining a bit of momentum as we get closer to December. Uh, one spot 0524 is the next potential support. This is the lowest point that Euro dollar has been since April uh, this year. So it gives you a bit of an idea as to where we are. And if we finish up with GBP USD, a bit of a reversal again. Doji formation on Friday, more negativity on Monday. And moving a little bit lower this morning as well. So both Euro dollar and GBP USD feeling the pressure of that stronger greenback, though we are at one spot 51.73, which is a short term potential support, could be a strategic level as well. So economic data wise, if you're trading GDP USD or UK 100, today could be interesting. Half past nine UK time, you've got CPI, PPI and RPI all coming at the same time. All significantly important measures of inflation for the UK market. Then you have the ZEW business report as effectively the German equivalent of non-farm payrolls in regards to importance. So make sure if you're interested in Euro dollar or Germany 30, you don't miss out on that. And then keep your eyes peeled for the CPI data due at 1.30 UK time, and that's for the US, uh, very important. And then if we look on to Wednesday, we've got crude oil inventory. So it's crude oil Wednesday, and then Thursday uh, brings UK retail sales, uh, the Philly Fed index, and unemployment claims from the US. And we finish up with, um, well, that's pretty much it to be fair. And let's just have a look at Friday just to finish things off. Um, you've got German uh, PPI uh, at 7 a.m. UK time. You've got UK public sector net borrowing, and you've got CCI from the Eurozone to finish up the week. So guys, as ever, keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights part of your layout going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.